Um, continuing to work on my body and um, shooting the ball, being more consistent and finishing at a higher rate and um, just being more of a, a team player and be better on the defensive end. I feel like I showed up. I improved a lot on each one. Is your decision simply based on whether you'll be a first round draft pick or not? Is that what it comes down to? Um, right now, I really haven't made um, any concrete thing where I'm going to base a decision off of because it's early. Really, teams are starting to get to know you with last week's combine. So for these next three weeks, I'll have a better idea. How hard is this decision to make? I mean, it's a big, big decision you're making. It's, it's really hard, but you, you can feel what you need to do, and you just got to make the best decision for you. Even if it's may not something you want to do, and you always got to make the best choice for your family and uh, other people. If you choose to go to the league, how has Purdue prepared you for this? Purdue has prepared me in a lot of ways. You know, being a main guy, being a leader, you know, that's um, those are traits that you can't get just without doing it. You have to do those to become better at it. What are the positives? What are the benefits of potentially coming back with your season? Um, just like I said last year, you know, we want to win a national championship. You know, that's what we do. And um, that's going to be our goal, and that's how we prepare ourselves, just like we tried to last year. This team's obviously analyzed you through this process. What are you analyzing? What, what's in your data set that you're trying to gather the information to make the right decision? Really just how um, teams see me and if they feel like I'm someone that they would want um, to be as part of their organization. Because, you know, on their end, it is a really big business, so they got to make a good investment. You got any other workouts scheduled this week coming up with teams? Um, I have Brooklyn um, on Thursday. What kind of timeline do you have for making a decision? I'll probably make my decision a day or two before the deadline because I have a workout on May 22nd, so I'll make it probably right around there. What skills do you think that you could bring a franchise like the Pacers? I feel like I can build, bring that grit. You know, as I said earlier, a lot of the older Pacers teams, like with um, Jermaine O'Neal, David West, guys like that, you know, that just really came out and competed around our test. I feel like I can bring that back. And um, just being a Hoosier, you know, there's a lot of support here as far as growing up here. How much? Uh, not too many years ago, you were a kid living on the streets outside this building, you know, around here. What's it mean to now be on the floor here with a chance to show off your skills to the Pacers? It's huge. It's just being on the other side of the fence is something that um, you don't think you can, you will ever do. It's just like she said, it's a dream. I never really thought about playing with it. It was more of just being a fan. So it's, just, it's, it's surreal at the same moment you got to stay in the moment. You got to stay here. How much fun is it to be out here with some of the other best college basketball players in the country and get to, I mean, it's it's work, but I'm, it's got to be fun too, right? Yeah, it's so what you want to do, play against the best. Is, is that's how you find out what you need to prove on the um, if you don't play against comp good competition, you don't. You will never find out your weaknesses. Biggie, what have you done to slow down? Like to slow down? Uh, just continue working. Just as I've always done. You know, there's no big change. It's just staying on the same process. Same diet. Same diet and everything. What and, kind of? And I work out in Orlando. I'm going to leave you guys. What kind of feedback are you getting so far from the NBA people? The biggest feedback I've got, you know, you went back to school. That was a good decision. You played well. and You showed a lot of things. And like how your game is growing. And uh, certain things along that way. Uh, how do you feel playing it this way? How do you feel playing it this way? I feel good. You know, moving well and it just helps me uh, compete night in and night out basis. What, what did you have to say to you down there? Nothing, just um, how he, uh, the workout process was on his end of it, just like, you know, don't, you know, guys can get tired, you know, bunching them together and things like that. Have you lost weight since the season? Yeah. Like right, 10 pounds. 10 pounds. Is there Wait, a target weight you're looking to get to? Um, I'm pretty much at a target weight I want to be, it's just really finding my body at this point. So you know, why did you decide not to uh, play in the games at the combine? Um, just as the spot I was in, they invited me not to play, so, I mean, when you're we have a good season, things like that. You know, they try to keep it open for guys that still need to show some things. Um, they feel like, or that they didn't get to show them as well during the season, so they open for those type of guys. What do you feel like NBA teams like most of this? My ability to lean on and my ability to stretch it out and do kind of the The most of the point line, are you pretty comfortable with it? Yeah. Do you keep track of what other guys are doing, whether they're signing or, or, or not anything? No, I'm just shot down, focus on my own path. Is it even possible to put a percentage on the likelihood of your returning, you know, or going into the draft? Is it even possible to do? Yeah, I mean, the likelihood, like I said, is just, I just started to go through this NBA process, so. I mean, it would take news to make me leave Purdue. So I'm at Purdue right now. I'm still enrolled. I'm still taking classes. Um, the decision would be to leave Purdue, not to go with the NBA if you're getting what I'm saying. Yeah, but if they tell you, hey, you're going to be a first-round pick, is that what sways you? 
I mean, yeah, it would. You know, anyone, any kid that wants to be in that, that wants to play in the NBA or something like that, you should take it as an opportunity. But at the same time, guys like Duncan, guys like Clay Thompson, Steph, you know, they've spent three years in college. So there's no rush. It's just more of me feeling sure that team is serious about me and um, has actually a plan for me. It almost sounds, though, that you're more inclined to go back to college this year than you were last year in your, in your thought process. Is that accurate? Yeah, you could say that was fair. That's fair. It was just more of... I'm not in a rush this year. I'm just more trying to figure out what I'm doing. And uh, it's like I keep saying, it's still early. It's two weeks in. Did the experience of Purdue this year change the way you look at being a college basketball player? No, just more of the maturation to myself, just becoming more mature about things and losing a sense of entitlement. Matt said um, about a month ago that all the feedback he was getting from NBA people was that your time's now. Is that, are you getting a certain indication from them along those lines? Yeah, I'm getting that too. You know, guys, um, I've talked to none of them said go back to school, but you know, there's things I want to do, there's goals I want to meet. Now, uh, if our goals meet the same, that we're talking to NBA people, you know, um, it'll be my time. You're just a semester, I think, away from graduating. How much will academics play into it at all? Um, it won't play much into it because I'm taking summer classes regardless if I'm there or not this um, summer. And um, as far as that, you know, I'm not too far, I'm just, uh, too far from it. So, I mean, that, that won't weigh into it. What are your summer classes? What are your summer classes? Right now, um, I'm going to take a math class and possibly a Spanish class. I got to take a test class. When you're, done, when you're done with summer school, how close will you be to a degree? How many hours? Um, I'll just need my next year and I'll graduate. One more year? Two semesters? So, yeah, my fall after my fall semester. Um, and then, like, only eight hours. Okay. So, not a full 12 and 12. Is it important to you to make sure you get that college degree? Yeah, it's really important. There's no reason to be this close and not go get it, especially when it's been paid for. You know, you got to take advantage of the play that. How many teams talk to you at home? Fourteen. Y'all ask the same questions? They all start the same, and then it'll feed off and things like that. They're similar. They're all similar, but not all quite the same. Are you tired of telling your personal story? Um, no, I mean, it's my story, it is, and uh, people ask, and I feel like it helps people as far as the media perspective. Like, oh, I have no problem telling it, but with teams and things like that, they're just trying to get, um, hear it from you rather than hearing it from someone else, you know, in an article. They feel like it's more, it's more big than anything coming, it's coming straight from me. Okay. Is there any particular questions surprising in the media? Um, no, not really. Any sense what the biggest thing they want to see from you is what the thing they want you to prove it on? Just being able to shoot it consistently from the NBA 3 and these workouts, that's the biggest thing because a lot of my productivity uh, this season analytically and everything was, you know, second to none. So, I mean, there's nothing else I can show on the court as far as that goes. So they don't want to see anything. They just want to see it in person, get to meet me and bring me in. Like that. Today feel good to you got in groove after that start. Yeah, I got into a groove, you know, I had to stop for a little bit, you know, shoot free throws because I had the guard to shoot first. But once I got my groove, I felt like I um, I shot it all right. What's your position for the NBA too? Um really the NBA moves to where a lot of things are positioned with basketball. It's just it's a flow and it's a game. Like if you watch a lot of the better teams they play with anyone they can put on the court, you know, dribble pass, shoot, rebound, defend, and you, they gonna put you in, things like that. So I can play against a four, I can play against a five. I want to get the point where I can guard three, but that's just going to take time to practice. Are there any guys that you model your game after or think that you compare well to? No, no one I really model my game after. I just try to uh, take more of a mentality similar to guys like Westbrook, guys like Draymond Green, guys that are just, um, you know, junkyard dogs that try to get after you every possession. That's more of what I try to model my game off of. Players not that skills. Two more questions. You seem pretty good. They can pop, they can roll down. Is there any fun aspects of the NBA game that is a suit you better than? There's a lot. It may increase my game a lot um, right now just to floor as far as the movement small ball. And I'm considered an undersized guy that can shoot and also, you know, I can bang with the five. So I, I believe that helps teams tremendously. If you got a guy that can be a horse, but then also be on the other side and dribble, be a playmaker, make good decisions, or make decisions with the ball, and uh, knock, uh, knock down corner threes off the pick and roll.